In the next few videos, we're going to go over DNA replication. This video is going to start by defining DNA replication and talking about semi-conservative replication. Okay, so first of all, DNA replication is the process of producing identical copies of DNA, which makes sense why it's called DNA replication. DNA replication is very important because we know that DNA is the genetic material. So in order for offsprings to get genetic materials from the parents through inheritance, copies of the genetic material has to be made. So essentially DNA replication is the basis for the inheritance of genetic material and all living organisms do DNA replication. Now, historically, there were several models for how DNA replication occurs. And you can see that in this diagram with the conservative model, the semi-conservative model, and the dispersive model. Essentially, these models were trying to figure out your starting DNA molecule, which you can call it the old DNA molecule, what happens to it when you make new copies of DNA. And as you can see in the conservative model, the original DNA molecule, the old one, is left alone. Nothing happens to it. And you just make brand new copies of DNA that are completely newly synthesized. In the semi-conservative model, you can see that the original DNA molecule, the old one, was separated into two single strands and then complementary strands were synthesized from each. So the newly produced strands are half old, half new. And finally, you have the dispersive model where the original DNA molecule essentially just gets broken up into different pieces and the original pieces get dispersed throughout all the newly copied pieces of DNA. Now, for the purposes of the MCAT, you don't need to know much about the experiments that prove which model was correct. All you need to know is that the current prevailing model is the semi-conservative replication model. So essentially what happens with DNA is that the double-stranded DNA is first separated into two pieces of single-stranded DNA molecules. Each of these single-stranded DNA molecules then serves as a template for the synthesis of a new complementary strain. Remember, complementary is referring to the base pairs. So if you have an A, then the complementary strain needs to have a T. And if the template strand has a C, then the complementary strand needs to have a G. That's what complementary is referring to. And through this approach, the result is you do end up with two identical DNA molecules in that they have the same exact sequence of nucleotides. And if you look at each of the DNA molecules that are produced, they're half new, half old. So that means one of the strands is newly synthesized and the other strand is from the original DNA molecule. So this is semi-conservative replication, which you do want to be familiar with for MCAT.